everyone, it is Thursday, which means it is Science Day, and we've got something really cool today. We're going to make a cloud in a jar. So I'll show you what I'm going to do, it's quite exciting. I've got an empty jam jar, and I've got a wee bit of colouring in the bottom so you can see the colour. I'm going to very carefully put in some boiling water. So if you're doing this at home, it's really a grown-up job. Now, very quickly, because it's hot, and also I want to make it work quickly, I'm going to put in some hairspray, a quick squish, and lid on. And now, I'm going to make clouds. I've got some ice. Cold, cold ice. I'm putting it on the lid. Oops, can you see what's happening inside the jar? up closer so you can see. So what's happening is the water, because it's hot, is evaporating. It's turning into a gas. It's going from a liquid into a gas. But as it hits the top, it's cold and it can't stay a gas. So it's mixing with the little tiny bits from the hairspray, the little tiny particles and dust in the hairspray. And it all clumps together and it forms Can you see it getting all foggy in here? I'm going to put a bit of colour behind it actually. Come around it so you can see better. Oh, no, no. There you go, can you see? Can you see it swirling? It's a dark colour behind it so you can see it. I'm going to leave that there for a wee minute or two and then I'm going to put some ice on top actually and hopefully when we take the lid off the cloud will smoke out the top as well. You can still see it swirling around inside. is fast melting so I think it's let's see if any comes out the top right. let's see what happens and be very careful because it's still hot oh not much I have a funny feeling when I moved it I think I maybe dissolved some of my cloud but did you see it all form the inside we'll maybe try it again with a few pictures at the end so what was happening that was kind of showing you how the fog and clouds are made up in the sky so i'll move these out of the room and I'll them the this shows us what happens to water and clouds in the air so if we start with our clouds here we spoke about it it's condensation it's condensing the hot water the hot bits of the gas are getting colder because the higher you go it's colder and the air can't hold the water bits so it turns it back into water and it mixes with little bits of dust and things in the air and forms into these clouds that we can see and what happens is the wind comes along and blows it and when it gets particularly to things like hills and things it gets pushed up but it gets colder and the clouds can't hold the water anymore and what happens when you get big grey clouds? Can you see in the picture? It starts to rain. So the water that was in our cloud has been blown over as it gets colder. The clouds can't hold it anymore. They turn all grey and horrible and the rain starts to come down. Or sometimes even snow or hail or precipitation. We'll be talking about that with the weather. So we've got our clouds blown over. They've started to rain. But what happens to the water? The rain falls down and it lands on the ground. So some of it goes into rivers and streams 
and flows out to the sea. Some of it just runs along the water, along the ground, and some of it goes under the ground and it seeps into the ground, but it all ends up heading back into, the sea, into either the sea or on the ground, and it starts again. The sun comes out, it's sun, it shines, everything gets a little bit hotter, and the water evaporates, it turns back into a gas, and it all starts again. It goes back up into film clouds, and it goes round and round, so it goes clouds over to rain. It falls on the ground, it runs through the rivers, and that evaporates again, it turns back into a gas, and comes back to a cloud. It's like a big circle. It's called a cycle. Like a bicycle, in fact, because it goes round, round and round, and that is our water cycle. So, I wonder if we can watch for different bits of this water cycle. When we're out and about, we can look for the clouds in the sky, we can look for rivers and streams and bits of water, even puddles on the ground. And sometimes, if there's been a bit of rain and suddenly the sun comes out, if you look very closely, you can sometimes see steam coming up from maybe the tops of cars if it's been sitting out, or in puddles. And you can sometimes see this whole cycle happening. So have a look when you're out and about, see what you can see, and maybe try your own experiment. I'm going to try it again, and I'll put a wee bit at the end. Okay, so have a go, have fun, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Can you see the clouds beginning to form? bits of cloud. And now let's see if we can see our clouds coming out the top of the jar. Ooh, cloud in a jar.